Oh, oh, oh. All right. No, no, you didn't lie. All right, go out. All right, go out. All right, Shalom Israel. Shalom. We are the ISTPK out of One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under um, the leader of Israel, our commanding General Yahana. All right, we've been teaching the truth according to the Bible since 1969 that the so called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man are the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. All right? And um, today is Monday night's history class. We're going to be talking about the destruction of the world is to save the righteous black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. There's a lot of times you're on the internet, you know, there's a lot of um, theories by the hidden, by the oppressor, by the prince and the power of the air that the earth is going to be destroyed by um, the ice from the glaciers in, in the um, North Pole being melted, um, a meteoroid might hit the planet and so forth. But according to the scriptures, the earth will remain, all right, but the, this world, all right, or this society is going to be destroyed by our king, Yahweh Shai, which we call Jesus Christ, all right? So now we're going to get into the scriptures, so the so-called black man is going to understand what the scriptures is talking about in terms of the earth or the world being destroyed, all right? So we're going to jump into our first scripture, which is the book. Of Luke chapter 1 and verse 67. This is a prophecy by Christ. So the so-called black man is going to understand what our salvation is all about. Alright, we're going to be going into also into the dream of Nebuchadnezzar. Alright, we're talking about the different empires and what this dream was saying. What this dream was recorded, why this dream Salakia was recorded by our forefathers. And what it is saying to the so called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man. So, you give me the full script here, Luke chapter 1 and verse 67. Come on, come. The book of Luke, chapter 67 and verse 1. No, 1 so, and 67. So, okay, mm -hmm. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 67. Tawana. And his father, Zacharias, mm -hmm. was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesying, saying, Bless. Be the Lord God of Israel. Right, so the first um, scripture we see in here, right? Zacharias is saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Alright, so it's making it making it clear for the so-called black man to understand which God we're speaking about. We have about many gods, many false gods. We have about Allah, 
we got um, um them egyptologists got in hotep and the list goes on but we are speaking according to the bible and we are speaking about the god of israel the god of the so-called black man native indian man and the hispanic man all right read on for he had visited and redeemed his people right because he had visited and redeemed his people by doing what by sending our king his son Yahawashai. all right which is christ in the hebrew read on verse 69 and he had raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant david right verse 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began mm -hmm. verse 71 all right let's not read that scripture one more time verse 70 the book of luke chapter 1 and verse 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets mm -hmm. which have been since the world began right so the most i always use prophets to speak to the nation of israel to make us um have a, a foresight into the future all right so the the the, the, the bible is going to give you the history of the so-called black man native indian man and hispanic man what is presently taking place with us and what is going to take place for the so-called black man even in the future all right so that's why we have the prophecies in the bible read on Canon Can, verse 71 mm -hmm. that we should be saved from our enemies we should be what saved from our enemies right so this um prophecy is very important because this is making the so-called black man to understand that he has enemies that is number one because the greatest pitfall for the so-called black man or the nation of israel to fall in is not understanding that as a nation of people that we have enemies all right that is basically the worst battle they could be in not knowing that you that you have an enemy and in the midst of a battle and you thinking that everything is just pretty okay that is just how things is you know what i mean satan busy and and you know the list the list goes on right but the scriptures is saying that the so-called black man has enemies all right your christian leaders will not bring these things to your attention because this is what will be will, will be called the so-called black man waking up knowing that you have an enemy knowing that the the the, the so-called white man is the deceiver that the bible speaks of when the so-called black man understands that then now he's in a position to begin to fight all right right um read that from the top and, and read on salakia the book of luke chapter 1 and verse 71 mm -hmm. that we should be saved from our enemies right and from the hand of all that hate us right and from all that hate us so the so-called black man have enemies and he have um persons that that hate him that hate this nation of black people if you look around today you see any consistent police brutality right you see any consistent um plans with force that the so-called um black man is being cornered or um you know cornered off with abortion clinics within the black community right the constant fight for the so-called black man not to follow the laws of god right by this doctrine of christianity being continually pushed on the so-called black man native indian man and hispanic man in so much that you have no idea who you are as a race of people wetback speaks mexicans you know what i mean um puerto ricans venezuelans and the list goes on for the so-called black man so we're not even in a position to understand who we are so now we don't know who our enemies are and then now we have a further calamity where we lost our identity we do not know who we are as a nation or as a race of people all right that was the end of 71 Canon cancer. all right so the scriptures are saying that our king yahawashai christ he is to save us from our enemies and all that hate us all right so now um given the book of romans chapter 11 and verse 1 baba kasha right because this is important for the so-called black man to know his identity and then we're going to understand what the destruction of the world is all about as we're going into today's monday night history class all right romans yeah romans 11 and 1 Tobara, okay, go ahead the book of romans chapter 11 mm -hmm. and verse 1 i say then 
hath God cast away his people? Right, read that again. Can on can. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. I say then, hath God cast away his people? Right, so this is a question being asked. This is a letter, right, written to the church um, in Rome. And that's what he's saying, has God cast away his people? That is a question he's asking, right? Because this is, this is in the New Testament. This is a letter, right, given to the Israelites by one of the um, disciples of, of, of Yahweh Shai, one of the apostles. All right, read on. God forbid. And he say no. The Mosai had not cast away his people. All right, read on. For I also am an Israelite. For he is what? For I also am an Israelite. He say no. Because I also is an Israelite. And I am an apostle. The Mosai didn't cast me off. Right? The Mosai didn't put me away. Because I am an Israelite. I am an apostle. I am a servant of the Most High Power, right? Being an Israelite, read on. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of what? Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham, right? According to that lineage, Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob, read on. Of the tribe of Benjamin. And he's also from the tribe of Benjamin, right? One of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, right? So this is what we're establishing. That the most I have not cast away his people, right? Redemption was sent to redeem God's people. And these people are the Israelites, according to the scriptures. So the most I have not cast away his people. Right? This now, Paul now is also speaking to a particular people because he's saying here, had God cast away his people, he's talking to Israelites. For I also am an Israelite. So he letting other Israelites know, hey, all of here what happening? Go and cast away all here. Because I also, I for myself, I am also an Israelite. So the most I have given me that chance and that grace to receive his knowledge once again for me to understand my culture, right? My heritage. This also is set in place for you, so called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man, right? That was the NRM. Yeah, that's the end of the verse. Right. Alright, so from there, let us go now to um, the book of Daniel, chapter 2, <clears throat> and verse 30. Alright, because the so-called black man must understand that in the book of Hosea, that the nation of Israel was cut off from the Most High, right, for a season, for a period of time, due to our disobedience, due to us disobeying the laws, commandments, and the statutes of the Most High Power. So he was placed in, 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 in um, a situation of, of rejection, right? But according to Romans 9, we're going to understand that the covenant, the promises, the given of the Lord, the service of the Lord, and the, prom and the promises, right, belong to the Israelites. The adoption, we were adopted back to the Most High after we were cut off. So now, with the so-called black man, continually have this this struggle understanding what is taking place in the scriptures what is taking place concerning world war three the destruction of the world and we're going to get into what that what that means right because we don't understand that all these letters and all these things that christ spoke and the apostles spoke were pertaining to the old testament that is why the scriptures say that the things written aforetime were written for our learning so now, these apostles, when they was um, walking the earth at the time, they didn't have a New Testament. They were drawing references from the Old Testament. So the things from before is what these apostles use as a reference, right? And these are the things we must look to also to learn what the scriptures are saying. All right? So give me the book of Daniel chapter 2 and read from verse 30, Baba Kasha. Kalan Khan, the book of Daniel chapter 2 and verse 30 but as for me this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom right so now this was a dream that um the ruler at the time nebuchadnezzar had right in babylon and it, this this is um an interesting story to look into because when he received this dream all right he had a soothsayers and and all these wise men that he had around him at the time to interpret dreams and now 
everybody line was life was on the line because he was saying to them hey i get a dream and if otherwise not only interpret the dream right don't play me no games also tell me the dream if i can interpret the dream if you really have this wisdom also tell me what this dream is saying all right and now the challenge was brought to the entire kingdom and the prophet of the most high um daniel was able to step up by the mercy and the power of the most high and give this interpretation to to daniel right all right read on <clears throat> but as for me this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom mm -hmm. that I have more than any living. Right. But for their sakes mm -hmm. that shall make known the interpretation to the king. And that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Mm -hmm. Verse 31. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. This great image whose brightness was excellent stood before thee and the form thereof was terrible right so so king nebuchadnezzar at the time get a dream of an image all right of a, a, a of a man all right read on Karan Karan, verse 32 this image this image's head was of fine gold mm -hmm. his breast and his arms of silver his belly and his thighs of brass. Right. Verse 33. His legs of iron. His feet part of iron and part of clay. Right. So now we're describing um, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. The different parts of the image. The head, the breast um, area, the thighs, the legs and so forth. Right. Read on. Karankan. Thou sawest till that is Salakia. Thou sawest till... That a stone was cut out without hands, mm -hmm. which smote the image upon his feet. Right, so a stone was cut out without hands and smote the image upon its feet. Right, read on. That were of iron and clay and break them to pieces. Mm -hmm. verse, 50, uh, verse 35. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together mm -hmm. and became like the chaff of the summer, threshing floors, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. Right. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Right. So now let me stop there for a minute. So now, Daniel now was given to um, King Nebuchadnezzar, right, what it is he had dreamt, right? And also now, he also gave to the king a breakdown of what the dream was saying, right? And through biblical history, because the Bible is a history book, the so-called black man is going to understand, right, what these um, different parts of the image was speaking about, all right? So now we're just going to... Um, basically go through some of it and we're going to come in terms of the destruction of the earth so now the so-called black man must understand that the first kingdom or the first empire according to the scriptures was speaking about babylon right this is what um daniel was saying to the king this is your kingdom and he continue explaining it as he keep breaking down the vision right you can read on mm -hmm. Verse 36, this is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof mm -hmm. before the king. Right. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for, for the most high of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. Right. Verse 38, and wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the heaven hath he given into thy hand, right. and hath made thee ruler over them all. Right, so Nebuchadnezzar was a great ruler, ruling over everything, 
Because the scripture is saying more important that the Most High gave him that power and authority. Right. Right. And even before we continue reading on, this is what the so-called black man must understand. This took place because of the so-called black man, Native Indian man and Hispanic man. Right. Nebuchadnezzar was risen up so that we will be put into captivity. This happened with us also in Egypt and with many other nations. When we sin against the Most High, these nations became now very high and we were put in servitude beneath the other nations. When we say the other nations, we're speaking about the other races, right? Read on. Kalon Khan, thou art this head of mm -hmm. gold. Right? Who is the head of gold? Say it, Salak, yeah? Read it again. Kalon Khan, um, read back from... The same um, thing we just read, sorry. Read back from the top. How far you reach? Um, I reached to go to the last part. All right, read the last part. Come on, come. Thou art this head of gold. Right. So Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, right? That Babylonian kingdom, that kingdom was the head of gold in the vision, right? Read on. Come on, come. Book of Daniel, chapter 2 and verse 39. And after thee shall rise another kingdom mm -hmm. inferior to thee. Right. So another kingdom is saying is going to come after that kingdom. But that kingdom that is in, inferior to thee. Wouldn't be as great as the Babylonian kingdom, right? Read on. And, a, and another third kingdom of brass. Right. So before we go to the third kingdom of brass, that kingdom will be the Persian and the Medes. All right. At another class, we will go into all the, the details in the breakdown. But that was the Persian and Medes. And now we're going on to who? Which, um, which shall be a rule over the earth. Right. Verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall shall be strong as iron mm -hmm. for as much as iron break it in pieces and subdue it all things and as iron that breaketh all these mm -hmm. shall it break in pieces and and bruise right read on verse 41 and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron. Right. So he explaining the last kingdom here, the fourth kingdom, part clay and part iron. Read on. The kingdom shall be divided, mm -hmm. but there shall be in it of the strength of iron. Mm -hmm. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. Mm -hmm. Verse 42. And as the toes of the feet will part iron and part clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Right. So the scripture is saying this last kingdom is going to be partly strong and partly broken. All right. This king, king, um, kingdom wouldn't be as strong as the kingdom in, um, that Nebuchadnezzar ruled over. Right. Give me verse 43. Come on, come on. Verse 43. And whereas thou sawest iron, Mixed with miry clay, mm -hmm. they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Right, and this scripture now is talking about this um, empire, which is America. Right? Read the scripture one more time, 43. Come on, And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, mm -hmm. but they shall not cleave one to another right so the so-called white man right is going to mingle himself as the scripture is saying with the cedar men right and this is this is his way of entrapping the so-called black man native indian man and hispanic man and how we doing that mingling with the cedar men is is by pushing um like his doctrines are a peace you know everybody is one right even further perpetuating that whole um philosophy of um of christianity so the scriptures talk about the prince and the power of the air right you'll give me that in the meantime before we go back to the scripture about kasha give me ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2 all right because the so-called black man don't understand that hey this is how america mingle salakia this is how this is the strategy that america use to mingle himself with the seed and with, with, with the seed amen to making us feel well we is all one we all can live in harmony we all can live in peace so as long as you following my policies my my doctrines 
my philosophies, everything is going to be all right. Right? So it even have other parts in the scriptures where it say at certain points in time during our captivity, it was not even lawful for us to be a Jew. So the so-called black man can rise up and say, hey, I is a Jew. Right? I is a from the tribe of Benjamin or Levi or um, um, Naphtali or Zebulon. You can't do that. Because that was unlawful. Now it's the same thing here now. Now to get peace, what the so-called white man of position for the, for the children of Israel, the chosen people of God, nah, you gotta be a Christian. You gotta be an Egyptologist. You gotta be a Muslim. You understand? You gotta do things the way I do things. You gotta eat pork, crab, lobster, and shrimp. These things are already systematically set in place for the so-called black man. So you now believe in hey, I gain peace here. Me going against the so-called white man, so I comfortable. But I must just do what he says, right? Give me um, Ephesians 2 and 2. Come on, come on. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. Wherein, in times past, he walked according to the course of this world. Right, and this is the same thing now that Paul is writing about in the New Testament in one of his letters. We walk according to this world, according to this age, and according to this society. Right, read on. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to what? The prince of the power of the air. According to the prince and the power of the air. So what we did, we walked according to the rulers. We walked according to the ruling power, the ruling party. So like right now, America is the ruling nation. The so-called black man have been subdued in so much that he is walking according to America's um, ways um, philosophies, ideas, doctrines, and so forth. Because now we have stepped away from, from what our forefathers have laid down for us. Right? Blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics. Which is the laws of God according to the scriptures. This is what we walk away from. And now we're walking according to the prince, right? And the power of the air. We're walking according to this age and according to this society. Alright? So, carry me back to the book of um, Daniel Babakasha. Alright, so the so-called black man must understand that this is the strategy of, of the American empire, of, or this empire mixed partly iron and partly clay. Right? They can read on from 44. Come on, cancer. The book of Daniel, mm -hmm. chapter 2 and verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. Right. But now the scriptures are saying, and in these days, right, these is, is the days, when this empire of clay and iron, this American empire is established in these days, that is when the most high power is going to set up his kingdom. And we understand what the kingdom of God is. The kingdom of God is, is established and set up by Israelites following his laws, his commandments, and statutes. That is why we pray according to the scriptures, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right? Read on. Can on can. Which shall never be destroyed. Which shall what? Never be destroyed. And this kingdom will never be destroyed when it is set up. All right? When the so-called black man, native Indian man, Hispanic man, takes hold of his constitution, takes hold of his laws, commandments, and statutes, all right? When the 144,000 rulers and leaders of the nation of Israel have been sealed, this kingdom will have no end. This kingdom will have no end after Christ comes and destroys this age, this society, or this empire. Then the kingdom of God is going to be established and is going to be is going to last Salakia forever, right? Read on. Karon Khan. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Because a lot of us struggle with God love everybody. This kingdom will not be left for other people. This kingdom is a holy kingdom, which means a separate kingdom. This kingdom is for special people. Alright? This kingdom is for blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics only. This is who Christ was sent for. For the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Alright, read on. Come on, come. 
but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Right, but what shall happen? It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Right. So this kingdom that the Mosa is going to set up is going to break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. This kingdom that is being established is not going to join with the kingdom, kingdom that exists in today. This kingdom is not the Christian church or the Muslim mosque or Egyptologists or Pan-Africanism. This kingdom, right, according to the vision in the scripture, is showing you how this kingdom is going to, going to function or is going to be established, right? It is going to break into pieces and consume all other kingdoms. And this is where the so-called black man is going to get a preview of, of World War III. This kingdom is a kingdom that is going to come by force, right? By power, right? And break into pieces. This talking about thermal nuclear fire. That is what the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man must understand. And then now we're going to be stepping away from the doctrines and philosophies of Christianity and white supremacy. All right, read on. Tan -tan -tan. And it shall stand forever. And it shall stand for how long? Forever. And it shall stand forever. All right, read on. Tan -tan -tan. Verse 45. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain mm -hmm. without hands. Right, so the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands. Right, so this stone that is going to destroy all these kingdoms and consume all these empires, right, that is going to um, cover over and destroy all these doctrines from all these empires that the so-called black man, native Indian man, Hispanic man have learned. All these philosophies from the Persian Empire, the Grecian Empire, all these philosophies from Rome and from America, right when the stone comes and destroy this kingdom this, the division said that this stone um so is that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands now we see many stones come before right all in the 60s they had um the movement of martin luther king jr right they had malcolm x all right so they had different stones that came but these stones these fail because these stones were cut by hand. These things were designed by man. But this stone, as a stone, was not cut out by hands. This stone was something established by the Most High. This was instructions, laws, commandments, and statutes passed down from the Most High power to prophets that is establishing the kingdom of the Most High on the earth. Right? Read on. Come on, come on. And that it break in pieces the iron, mm -hmm. the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. Right. So all these kingdoms, all these philosophies, doctrines, and ideas. For example, um, an angel was, was Jesus' father. Right. We could celebrate. We could eat what we want. You understand? We could celebrate Christmas. That is small thing. All these. Um, um, philosophies that were set up by these other em 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 empires will be destroyed and when it say be destroyed by the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. Right. Alright, that is what this stone is. This stone is a stone that is not cut by hands. Right. These are laws, commandments and statutes given by the Most High Power and not by man. Right. Read on. Can on, can. The great, the great God had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter? Mm -hmm. And the dream is certain. The dream is what? And the dream is certain. Right. So this dream that was received by Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel has given the understanding of the dream. He is saying that the dream is certain. All right. Read on. And the interpretation thereof is sure. And the interpretation of this dream thereof, it is sure. So the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man, right, must understand that this vision and this dream that was given in the scriptures is certain and it is, a sh and it is sure that all these empires and all these kingdoms that have been set up by all these hidden nations, they are going to be destroyed. And how are they going to be destroyed? By a stone cut not by hands. So-called black man must understand that, right? So now, um, give me the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9, give me from verse 1. 
Alright, because we're going to get a little more into it. Because when the scriptures talk about this destruction, this is talking about World War Three. This is talking about the end of the world. When we say the end of the world, the end of this age and the end of this society. Right? The end of lawlessness among blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics. And also the end of lawlessness on the face of the earth. Right? No meteor meteoroid ain't coming and hit the earth. The place ain't going to flood out with no um, um, ice glaciers are going to melt out. Because these things were established in the scriptures by covenants that um, the Mosai had with our forefathers. For example, the symbol of the rainbow that these um, homosexuals um, trying to take hold of. This was a symbol to the, to the nation of Israel that the earth is no longer going to be um, destroyed by, by water. Right? And when we say destroy, we're not talking about the earth itself, but the society, the age of the people. Because a lot of people don't understand it is due to um, the so-called black man not following the laws of God that brought about the flood. The sons of God seeing the daughters of men that they were fair and made marriages on the earth. Right. Right. This was the fault of the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Right. The chosen of the Most High, not the heathen. We made marriages with the heathen. That we're not supposed to do according to the laws of God and it brought destruction. And now the so-called black man must separate himself, right, from America, from this age, from this society, and this destruction that is going to come, the so-called black man is going to escape this destruction by walking according to the righteousness that the most I have laid down for you. Alright, by being sealed with this knowledge. Alright, so um, give me the book of second Ezra chapter 9. And verse one. Can on, can. Right, just now, let's like here. Do my one more fever, right? Um, Baba Kasha. Give me the book of second is just chapter six and verse fifty-four. Can on, can. All right, the so-called black man seems to be in a constant struggle, you know, thinking that you know we are all one, we are all human beings, we all bleed red, but that is not according to the scriptures. Pigs bleed red, snakes bleed red, dogs bleed red, and we are not one. Right. All right. The most I ever chosen, and the most I created this earth for the so-called black man, native Indian man, Hispanic man. Right. If you have it, you can read. Come on, come. The book of Second Ezra, chapter six and verse fifty-four. Mm -hmm. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord. Of all thy creatures. Right, so Adam was made Lord of all thy creatures, right? Or the or the ruler on the planet. He was given the breath of life. Alright. He was given the laws, commandments, and statutes to run the planet. He was made Lord. Alright, read on. Of him come we all. Right, we all came from him. Alright. And when we say we all come from Adam, we understand according to the scriptures that Adam was not the first man on the planet. But we all came from Adam because due to the flood, the Most High destroyed all the men on the earth, save Noah, right, his three sons and their wives. And now all the other races now were built back to Shem, Ham, and Japheth and repopulated the earth. And they were also divided. All the sons of Shem, Shem Ham, and Japheth were divided. All right? And we, the children of Israel, came out from um, the, the, the Shem as our forefather. Not Ham, the father of the dark races. All right, read on. Can on can. And the and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And what? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. So we all come from Adam, but the scriptures making a distinction. And the people also who thou hast chosen. So although we all come from Adam, the people also who the Most I have chosen. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we also came from Adam. So it's showing now it have the people and it have the chosen. All right, read on. Can on can. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, mm -hmm. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. He made the world for what? For our sake. The most high power made the earth for blacks. Native Indians and Hispanics. He made the earth for our sakes. The Mosai is bringing thermal nuclear fire to the earth 
to destroy the American Empire, to destroy the, 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 the rulers of this age, the rulers of this society, to give rulership back to the so-called black man. That we will rule here according to the laws of God, according to righteousness, according to what the Most High desires. We're going to rule the, 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 the earth, right? Thus say the Lord. Nobody ain't going to be running around eating pork, crab, lobster, and shrimp. You understand? Sleeping with another man's wife, man sleeping with man, marrying other races, having abortions. That wouldn't be taking place. Eating swine flesh. These things will not take place under the rulership of blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics. And this is what is going to bring, um, what we should say, a, 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 a healing to, 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 to the earth in itself. Because the scripture is saying, even the even the trees, just paraphrasing, the earth longing for the manifestation of the sons of God. Right? That is the, the, the every responsibility on the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. While we caught up in so many other, other things that taken place, the earth, the planet, is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. The ones that is going to run the earth according to the rules of God. So things will go the way that it ought to go. You ain't going to be seeing blacks, native Indians, and, and Hispanics in the earth. We're supposed to be the rulers of the planet. The woman will be running about as as as, as whores and harlots, right? But princesses of the Most High, wives of of men that are kings and priests. All right, read on. And on can. Verse fifty six. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, mm -hmm. thou hast said that they are nothing. Right. Read that one more time. Can on can. The book of Second Ezra. Chapter 6 and verse 56. And as for the other people, mm -hmm. which also come of Adam. Right, so now we're talking about the other people, not the chosen. The other people which come from, from Adam, right? According to the scriptures, what you say? Thou hast said that they are nothing. The most I saying, the other races, the other nations, besides the chosen, they are nothing. Thus say the Lord. So called black man to understand how important how serious this is. You're not equal to nobody. Right. You gotta come out of the mindset that trying to march and trying to look for equality and and, and um, trying to be accepted among the heathen. Trying to do things the way they do things. Because God's saying they are um read it again. Canon can thou hast said that they are nothing. They are nothing, right? They are nothing. The most I say in these other races are nothing. And you want to be like the other races. In so much the scriptures are continually saying, envy not the oppressor. Follow not the way of the hidden. Because the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man don't understand. You have laws, commandments, and statutes, and a culture that is superior to the other nations. Right. Even Christ himself called the other um, races dogs. Right. And you can find this in the New Testament. In the book of Matthew and in the book of Mark. He called them dogs. Because the so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man are superior people. Right. This is something we are afraid to embrace. But what brings us to that superiority is us bringing ourselves to follow the laws, commandments and statutes that he have given us. By taking hold at this manual. All the, 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 the scriptures, the Bible, the constitution for the so-called black man. Right. What is supposed to show the so-called black man how to live, how to please the most high power. Right? Because this is our duty to fear the most high and keep his commandments. Because we understand by not following his laws, what predicaments can take us. Now you're being rebooted in the ghettos and in the slums continually. Be lynched, raped, murdered, um, is poor Polish brutality. Is, 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 is hunger, is thirst, and the list goes on. Every other race is trampling upon the so-called black man because we refuse to do one thing or refuse to try one thing, which is to follow the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Mosai. Even the Christian leaders, the churches, will not push for the so-called black man to follow the laws of God. We're following everything else. Why the so-called black man try everything else and this one thing 
that is keep being brought to the so-called black man to try to follow the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High Power. Why we refuse to do this, all right, as a nation of people. Why this is so? Because of the so-called white man, the deceiver, the one that tells you, hey, through Christianity, God loves everybody. You understand? God loves the sinner, but he hates the sin. These things are not according to the scriptures. These things that the Christian pastor say to the so-called black man is what has us in the ghetto. You understand? Has us in poverty. Has us dying, as the scriptures say, as, as, as men. And we say dying as men, dying with cancer, syphilis, AIDS, coronavirus. You understand? The so-called black man heart attack must understand this is not the way we were supposed to die with ailments and sicknesses and disease but these are punishments from the most high power all right read on the scripture can on can but be like unto spittle be like what but be like unto spittle so the most high saying the other races so-called black man these other races is like spittle and if anybody don't know what spittle is spittle is spit these other races are spit to me when you see an east indian man a chinese man an african all these people walking around with the scriptures what the most i saying about them but be like unto spittle but be like unto spittle they spit on him as a matter of fact these other races are not even supposed to touch the scriptures right they're not even supposed to touch the bible that is how sacred and how holy this Bible is. And we say how holy, we mean separate. Holy means separate. That is why this is called the Holy Bible. Right? We're watching the Bibles, we're watching to the front. You will see the Holy Bible. Holy means separate. This Bible is something separate. Separate for who? A particular people. So the scriptures are saying the nations is like spittle. It's like spit. These records is for special people. Alright? Read on. And have lightened the abundance of them. Right, and I've compared, as you say, I've lightened and I've compared the abundance of them. So you take all these other races and make one big heap and a big field. The most I say he are lightened the abundance of them, the whole grappa hidden, as what? Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. He compared them to a drop. That falling, that fall from a vessel. So if you fall a bucket of water and walk in it, or any vessel, a mug, right, a jar, and a drop fall, you, you might even notice that. That's how the Most High considers the hidden. Right. Because Israel, blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics, we are the apple of his eye. We are the chosen of the Most High power. We are the ones that he have given the laws, statutes, and commandments and set us to rule the planet. And we walking around as Christians and Pentecostals and Egyptologists. When we supposed to be walking around as, as Jews, the real Jews according to the Bible. Not the Jewish people you seen across in Jerusalem. They are heathens also. The most enlightened them as a drop that fall from a vessel, a spit. A spittle, you understand? But because of the disobedience of the so called black man, now these other races they rule over us. The so called white man, the East Indian, the Chinese, all these races has their boots, their knee on our neck because we refuse to claim our identity. We refuse to, 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 to understand who our God is, right? And bring ourselves into subjection. To what he says and requires us to do as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right? Read on. Karaman Khan, verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as mm -hmm. nothing. Right? So these heathen, O Lord, right? That you always call nothing. Right? Read on. Have begun to be lords over us. No, these lords over us. So we just reading from um, the book of Daniel, all these empires coming down, the Persians, right? The Persian, the Babel, Babylonians, the Persian and the Medes, the Grecians, right? the Romans, they're the lords over us. They're ruling over the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. 
right? So it's just crying out, you know, right? Like the so-called black man, native Indian man, Hispanic man should be crying out now. Look, these other nations ruling over us. You understand? Them celebrating Christmas, Diwali, Halloween, man married in man. You understand? All these evil, wicked things them doing. They're killing black people every day. And when we watch, we watch around. It have a God, but, but it ain't seeming so. Because look, them ruling over we. You understand? All kind of mummy, everything them worshiping. They worshiping cow, they worshiping the stars, they worshiping um, statues, the Hail Mary. But look, these people who the scripture are saying is nothing, look, they're ruling over we. Why this is so? And it's time for the so called black man to understand that how this foolish nation, you understand? Ruling over we. Them don't even know what to eat. Just the other day, the German non back. The place full of corona. They maybe eat a monkey or rape a monkey. We ain't, we ain't know what to do. AIDS bust out. Shellfish decide to eat cholera bust out. They eat in a set of pig. Swine flu bust out. Watch how foolish this nation of people is. But they're ruling over blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics. Why that is the case? Because the so called black man turned away from his power. Right. The so called black man haven't understand. Right, what rulership of this earth is all about. You understand? As the scripture said, the most I create the earth for our sakes. You understand? And the most is going to destroy this age and this society for the so called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man to take rulership again in righteousness. Right, read on. Can on, can. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen which have been reputed as nothing. Have begun to be lords over us right. and to devour us. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. And to do what? And to devour us. And to devour us. They're doing what I want. You understand? Watch all up in the ghettos and the slums. They're doing what I want. They're coming up in there and killing people at will. You understand? Because we know as a people, not having laws, commandments, and statutes to govern our um our neighborhood and our society. We call in these hidden who the scripture are saying. Is nothing to help us right we call them to, to solve crime you understand we call them when it are rape when it are any um affliction in the ghetto we call any hidden stupid yolo come please and help we in the ghetto in we condition we calling for the other races to come in to help us and god saying hey these other races is nothing and is less than nothing but he come them as spit a spittle we calling for their help it's time for the so-called black man native indian man Hispanic man to wake up and understand what these scriptures is saying and what this is all about this is not about dancing and singing the most is clearly making a difference to the so-called black man who this earth is for right the chosen people the holy people the separate people from in the beginning right read on can on can verse 58 but we thy people whom thou had called thy firstborn. Right? We, thy people, who are called thy firstborn, which is the children of Israel. Right? The most I say, um, said that in, in the book of Exodus. Israel is my firstborn. Right. Blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics, they are my firstborn. And this is the reason why the most I kill out all um, Pharaoh firstborn. Right. If you want to kill my firstborn, I will show you what it feel like to lose your firstborn. So he dropped all the plagues. And the last plague he dropped, you understand, that break the pride of Pharaoh, right, is killing out all the firstborn, right, of the entire of Egypt. Right. You understand? And even right now in this American empire, the Mosa is going to kill every firstborn and more to break the pride of the so-called oppressor, of the so-called white man. Right to deliver blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics. Right? But when that road coming, when that destruction to the earth coming, it's coming and it coming hard and it coming fast. In so much scripture saying the, 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 the nation's going to be amazed at our salvation. How we going to be delivered? We're going to confuse the heathen. So the so-called black man must understand something. Hey, here what happening. I had to get myself right. Why are you getting yourself right? Because when that thermal nuclear fire coming, there's only one way to escape, which is coming back to your culture, so-called black man, right. which is returning to your God. The same way he delivered you from Egypt 
is the same way he's going to deliver you from the hands of Babylon again, Babylon the Great, from the hands of America. Right. By the so-called black man coming back to the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High Power. And the only place that is teaching the so-called black man how to walk according to these laws, how to walk according to the order of the Most High Power, is in the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. That is the only place. So this is not hard to understand. Right? You cannot get this in the Christian church. You cannot get this in fake, fake Israelite groups. Right? People that have shown no loyalty. You understand? In the truth. In the men above them that have taught them. And now you see these men as men that you can follow. That is madness and is not according to the scriptures. Right? So it's time for the so-called black man, native Indian man, Hispanic man to wake up and understand. This is just here the law. This is not a time and a season to play. Right? Read on. Can, can. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, mm -hmm. thy only begotten, right. and thy fervent lover, right. are given into their hands. Right, we are given into the hands of the heathens. So it have two different set of things going on. It have the oppressor and it have the oppressed. We are given into the hands of the heathens. No so-called black man that you will not want with everybody. Right? Native Indian man and Hispanic man, you are the oppressed. You are the ones in cages. You are the ones trying to scale all kind of wall to try to get better living for your family. You are the ones running across from Venezuela, right? Breathing the, um, the open ocean and seas to run across into Trinidad to, to get refuge because of the oppressor, because of the so-called white man destabilizing your country and your economy. Right for his own gain, right, and his own lustful desire, right, for him to draw all the oil from in Venezuela to continually fighting to maintain that status of power above the other nations. You fall in prey to his lust, right, to his whim and his fancy. And how you can re regain your power is by initiating your king. You have an army, so-called black man. Right. You have somebody to defend you, right, in these last days. And it's written all through the scriptures. It's time for the so-called black man not to keep saying down and, and reading, yeah, the hidden is nothing and less than nothing. And having these hidden beaten all over you with all hope. And you reading all in, in these records what the Mosa is saying to the so-called black man. And you for your own self running about and boasting, hey, yeah, the black man great, the black man strong, the black man is all, the black man is a king. Everybody, the black man is a king, but everybody afraid when, it's, when the time say, the black man is a priest too. He is a king by birthright and he must act a certain way. You understand? According to the scriptures, to also be a priest. Because the most I said from since, since um, in the beginning, since in Exodus, right? That he is raising up a nation of kings and priests, even before the Levites, right, um, make the stand to walk as, as priests. This was for the entire nation of Israel to walk as kings and to walk as priests. And this is what is going to deliver the so called black man and the nation of Israel from the hands of the heathen. This is what is going to initiate the army of the Most High Power by 144,000 black men, native Indian men, and Hispanic men. Being sealed with the knowledge of God. Being sealed with the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High Power. That is going to initiate the destruction of this world, right? This age and this society. And bring your nation to the top. Bring your nation into rulership. When you're watching all these, um, um, officer, um, Michael was telling me about, um, a documentary with, um, what is the name of it again? The, the rise of Amazon. When I watch documentaries like this and understand the the the, the way the, the oppressor, the so-called white man position himself, it's unbelievable. When you watch just that one documentary and that is one um um Edomite or one of the oppressors, the way they position themselves in a seat of power is absolutely unbelievable. And that documentary is called The Rise of Amazon. Amazon. Is a good um documentary to watch, right? Officer Mike Brother documentary that my attention. I watched this just recently, right? And they're going to make you understand when the generals and the captains and other officers 
under commanding general Hannah bringing out um the mark of the beast right and the 666 ru uh, families or rulers that run the planet in making it to see that these priests and prophets know what they're talking about right on point you understand and all these fall camps talking all this 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 bull about um the mark of the beast is a chip when you watch that documentary alone it make it you, you're sure you're in a false scam and you're sure you're under men that don't know the scriptures but showing you the the, the 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 way one man position himself and the power he have in this um empire unbelievable and it's 666 you understand families running this whole economy and planet and the so-called black man is under that constant oppression because they care you understand because there's the devil the bible speak of they right. don't care you understand you take squeeze and if you find a way to live that, that is not them concern you understand and now the so-called black man must make the laws commandments and statutes of the most high power his concern you don't concern all the other nation them see you or them think you make the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High Power and your culture, your business. Mind your business. You understand? Don't be a busybody in other men's matters. You don't study what the Chinese doing and what the Japanese doing and what this next one doing. You focus so-called black man on knowing who you is, which is an Israelite, the real Jews according to the Bible, and you focus on what the Lord requires you to do. Because you can see clear through history every time we come to the top, is always by obeying the laws of God, by always obeying the voice of the prophets. And these prophets are in the ISUPK here under commanding General Yahana. These are the people that Christ pray for, as you see in the scriptures. I pray for them, right? I pray not for the world. And I think we will touch on that before we um, before we move on. But continue reading there, Baba Kasha. Come on, come. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 59. If the world now be made for our sins. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? So that is the question. And if you so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man, and reach a place to ask yourself this question, then you're in real problems. You understand? If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Why we ain't running this? This is for we. Why we ain't running it? That is the least question the so-called black man had asked himself. Why, 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 why me running this? The black man is a king. We so great. Why me running this? And the reason why is because the most the um Salakia, because the so-called black man do understand who he is. We still thinking we Africans. If you go and you watch some 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 documentary and do some history with these Africans, in real, you will be shamed to call yourself an African. The amount of homosexuality. I watched on, on Facebook the other day, an African, she has she, she whole lip around she, she, she child and she child probably about, about six. I know I'm African head big. And you, you're African. You want to tell people you from that tribe that full of homosexuality, that still is, is cannibal. You understand? That still cutting out um, um, the, the children and the wife clitoris, cutting out women, but still living as savages. And you reading about the Israelites say that the priests and prophets telling you who you are, royal people. You understand? Civilized people. You want to say you are African. It's time for the so-called black man to wake up. You still want to jump around bareback with a pipe in your mouth saying you are Apache. Come back to the full side of culture, so-called black man, and don't make the don't make the um, the oppressor deceive you. You understand? Who we used to smoke to, um, to, to bring the gods and all that and all that nonsense. These things is an abomination in the scriptures. Right. You understand? An evil man have, have burning fire in his lips. That's paraphrasing on Ezekiel 8 and 17. Right? Talking about smoking also as an abomination. Right? Um, that was the night? Um la. Right, read on. How long shall this endure? How long shall this endure? Right? Um, let's give my time. Check the Baba Kasha. Um, all right. Um, but let them, all right. Let me just jump from there. Give me the book. Um, give me a second. It's just again. Um, give me second nine. Yeah, give me a second. It's just nine. Baba Kasha from verse one. Come on, come. All right. 
A the, time that jump out so quick. Um, I right, go ahead and read. Come on, come on. The book of Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse one. Mm -hmm. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Right. So now, this is um Ezra, right? In a vision. And this, these records, the so-called black matter to understand, is records for you to understand what is taking place. Because they're all over the Bible. Right? This is not a time for Israel to be confused. You understand? To be confounded. Not understanding what's going on. Right? Because now, even in this scripture, second is just chapter 9. Right? He is saying, he, um, measure thou the time diligently in itself. The things that the so-called black man is seeing today in itself is going to make it to understand that destruction of this age and this society is at hand. The so-called black man must understand that, right? Read on. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. Right, so now the scriptures are all these signs. So he's saying when they see part of all these signs so-called black man pass, because this is talking to the so-called black man. This is not talking to the heathen. Them heathen can do what they want. They already did what they did. The most have already established what the judgment is going to be. Right. Those that lead into captivity must be led into captivity. He already established destruction is going to come to the earth. But he set something up for the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Because now we are the ones that could change. We are the ones that could repent. We are the ones that was given rulership and now we're giving us this chance to do what? To come out of all these um, different empire philosophies. By right, be the Babylonians, the Persian and the Medes, the, the Grecians, Rome, America. Now we having that chance still. That is the purpose of Christ. You understand? To set up that, that, that second chance for the so-called black man. Right? So now we're saying, hey, all these prophecies I leave here, measure the time. And when you see part of the, of, the, of the signs pass, do what? And when thou see part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before. Right, which I have told thee before. So these things in prophecy, these things in the scripture, so-called black man, read on. Then shall thou understand. Then you will understand, but wait now. Look, these things in the scriptures. The priest and prophets in the ISPK on the street corner saying, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. Look out for this, look out for that. This, the, 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 the ISPK talk about um, eating um, clean and unclean meats for years. You understand? Since 1969. Right. Right? But nobody want to hear what's going come and happen. Coronavirus. You understand? It's to ravage the place. It ain't done yet. And many other diseases. You understand? This is to protect the so-called black man, native Indian man and Hispanic man. We ain't gonna be up in the um up in the walks trying to get syphilis and um and, and gonorrhea and so forth. We letting a man understand, right? That get your wife or more than one wife according to the scriptures. Right. So now these diseases ain't gonna be ravishing the black community. These other nations and these heathens, they don't have the laws of God. They don't have the wisdom of the most high. The most high give this to you. And you must show yourself to be a wise and an understanding people. Right? Read on. Can one can. Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right. So around the same time, when you see a part of the signs, the scripture is saying is the very same time wherein. The highest, the most high, is going to be um, begin to visit the world which he made. So now when you're seeing these signs are coming down, right? And, and I think within Ezra 9, let's out like the wars, rumors, are wars, uprising of the people and so forth. He said this is the very same time where the highest, where the most high is going to begin to visit the earth. And how are we going to visit the earth? By sending the son. Right. The son by sending Christ. By sending Yahweh Shai, right? To bring destruction, to bring bloodshed on the youth, right? To punish the heathen for the things I have done against the children of the Mosai power, right? 
So when you see part of the signs, understand the Mosai is going to begin to visit the earth and he's going to explain to the also what this beginning looking like. This beginning to visit, what this looking like. If some if some great um um hedonic ruler right now going to visit somewhere, it will have a preparation. Probably in the airport, they had a cone, they had a security, they had um the fence line. You understand where people can stand up where they can stand up it will have some sort of preparation and the most i making the so-called black man understand what this preparation is going to be look, looking like when he begins to visit it let me understand what kind of god we serving if the god we serving is 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 is, is, is similar to the heathen if we do the things as he did because we say in the scriptures right as the most i say he is holy right he want us to be holy so we what we doing must be different so let me see what this visitation will look like right read on come on come verse 3 therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in right. the world what we will be seeing earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world we will be seeing earthquakes and uproars of people in the world and right now Right now, we will be lost in count at earthquakes and uproars among people. Is every country, every way, any country you can list right now has some uproar. Is Black Lives Matter? Is an, is, is 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 black men being lynched? Is uproar? Is this next up? Every every way, every country uproars among the people. He making it to understand when he's seeing this. This is this is what going to happen when I begin to visit. Right. You ain't got no no cone and um and fence line and people singing and people clapping and dancing that is not how i visited you understand we call the, the, the character again um the stan is tan also um one of them was was eat wool yeah tan also or some one of them and Ap Ap apocalypse yeah if you so watch any of them um type of um we call them again marvel, marvel yeah. comics yeah. that is how he come in yeah ain't gonna no singing and dancing and everybody in all the churches had a whole hand and they make a big circle and everybody that that is not according to the word of the lord right when christ coming to the earth is a different coming you understand is a coming of vengeance right as we read earlier up in the class luke chapter 1 and 67 where he say he's going to this um come to deliver us deliver the so-called black man from our enemies and from all that hate us right right read on can, on, can. verse 4 then thou salakia then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Right. Even from the beginning. Right. So the Most High speak about this even from the beginning. Right. Even way back from in Genesis. Right. You have way um Genesis three and fifteen where you talk about um the serpent go go. You go match the the the, the head of the serpent and the serpent go bite the heel. But you say you put enmity between you and the with, with the serpent seed and with the seed of Eve talking about the offspring so for me the beginning in genesis is war between the so-called white man and the so-called black man right and speak about this from the beginning from the beginning they're killing the, the prophets and from the beginning he set a plan to deliver the so-called black man and put him back in rulership again as he had already designed and established right read on come on come verse five for like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning mm -hmm. and an end. Right. So everything in the, in the world have a beginning and it have an end. Right. Read on. And the end is manifest. And the end is manifest. You can see the end. Read on. Can on can. Verse 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings right. in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. Right. So, so even so, also the highest, the most high, he have plain beginnings in wonders, powerful works, and endings in effects and signs. So you see, see the most high beginnings. Now the so-called black man can see now, but wait now. It are blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics on the street corners teaching the people loving the people showing the people you had to follow the laws commandments and statutes at the most high plain beginnings you understand everybody that's passing out willy-nilly it have classes going on 
You understand? And he realized, boy, this class is, boy, it's only blacks, native Indian, and Hispanics here. It's the only black people allowed in here. Plain beginnings. Simple. You understand? Simple and plain beginnings. All right? And powerful um, works. Now you're seeing men that was drug dealers. You understand? Murderers. Right? These men now are being changed and transformed. These black men, native Indian men, and Hispanic men are now clothed in the right mind. They are now going back to the black communities, teaching blacks, native Indian, and Hispanics, thus say the Lord. These are the things we are required to do to rebuild a nation and a society. All right? Read on. Kalamankan, verse 7. That's all. Read the last part of verse 6. Kalamankan. And in endings, and effects in signs. And in endings, in effects and signs. Right? Read on. Salakia. Canon Khan. Verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his work. By his what? By his work. By his works. So we keep go coming up, right? On the streets and online. Telling the so-called black man. The most I set something up for the so-called black man, you know. Right? No. We have been adopted back to the Mosai. Now we had to do something. We had to change the works. We can't be selling um, drugs on the block no more. You understand? We can't be sleeping with women and put them away. You understand? Keep your four wives. Don't sleep with them and just put them away. There, there shall be no whores among the daughters of Israel. Right. Right. Black women, native women, native Indian women and Hispanic women is not whores. Right. You sleep with them, all of them is your wife. Get clothed in your right mind. You do things now in decency and in order now. Because you understand now the responsibility that you have as a so-called black man. Now we ain't going to run around eating pork, crab, lobster and shrimp and trying to fill up all the hospitals and complain about um, what they say this thing Obama was trying to bring there was um, med Medicare. Obamacare. Obamacare. Yeah. We ain't going to be looking for that no more. Because now we have a greater power. And what a greater power is a dietary law. Nobody from the black community end up in none of them hospital. Because we ain't eating no bush meat and no wild meat. You understand what I'm saying? And no pork. We ain't eating that. Because we are wise and understanding people. Because we return to the God. We return to the knowledge that He gave we. We ain't no African. You understand? Still eating raw meat. And eating one another too. St still as cannibal. That's not for the so-called black man. Read on. And shall be able to escape by his works mm -hmm. and by faith whereby he have believed. Right? Because we believe, thus say the Lord. We believe the words that the prophets have spoken under commanding General Yahana. Right? Read on. Kanon Khan, verse 8. Shall be preserved from the, from the said peril. Right? We shall be what? Preserved from the said peril. Right? And we. Right? Blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics shall be preserved from the said perils. Not the other races, but the so-called black man, right? Read on. And shall see my salvation in my land. And shall see the most high salvation in his land. Right? And we know that our land is in Jerusalem. We're going to return to our homeland. Read on. And within my borders, mm -hmm. for I have sanctified them for me. From the beginning. Right. The Most I have sanctified them. Right. For him from the beginning. Jerusalem belongs to the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man. Not the Khazars. Not the fake Jews. Alright. Not these, not, not, not those um imposters. That nothing about them lining up according to the scriptures except being the nation of Edom. Right. Right. The one that the Most High is, is, is showing no mercy to. Alright, read on. Kanon Khan, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, mm -hmm. which now have abused my ways. Right, so them now shall be in a pitiful case, which now have abused what? My ways. Abused the most high ways. What are his ways? The laws, commandments, and statutes. Right? Who they talking about? Crefler Dollar. Right. T.D. Jakes. Pastor Coffee. Right. Sister Gemma. They abused the most high ways. They set themselves up as leaders, right, as pastors, and abuse the ways of the Most High, right? They're reading it about dietary law. They're reading the laws of God and done away with, right? And they still 
telling people, nah, you can eat where you want. You just pray on it. You understand? Trying to be willingly ignorant of the word of the Most High Power, right? Read on. Can on can. And they have cast them away mm -hmm. despitefully. Right. Shall dwell in torment. Right. And they that cast them away despitefully, they shall dwell in torments. Right. So you have a punishment that the so called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man must understand that is going to come. Right. For despising the word of the Most High. When the priests and the prophets on the streets and on the passage, it's to save you. It's to help you, so called black man. It's to deliver you from being in the bottom of society. Is to bring you out and make you escape the wrath that is coming on this world from the Most High. That is what the priests and pro prophets is doing in the ISPK under commanding General Yahana. Sealing the men of the Lord, right? To change this, this, this world and this society into righteousness, right? Read on. Come on, come. Verse 10. For as such as in their life have received benefits. Right, so all the religious leaders... All the imams, all the Egyptologists who are all them Egyptologists books to sell with Unk and Nimrod and all the research they're doing, right? They receive the benefits, they're making the money in this life. Read on. And have not known me. Mm -hmm. And have not what? Known me. And have not known him. Because they do not follow the laws, commandments, and statutes that the most I establish, right? As the scripture says, Salakia, right? If any man um that's not why that's paraphrase. Every man say, Know me and keep it not the commandment. There is a liar. You must keep the commandments of the most high. Go and keep the laws of God and say, Know him. Right. And say it is free. You understand? The scriptures tell you, believers in Proverbs, not a, a sinner, not even he, even he prayers shall be abomination to the most high. Right. So don't talk about, Oh, it is free. And you and God have a, have a relationship. You don't follow the laws of God. He say, Even your prayers is an abomination. Even your prayers. The most I hate. That is how serious this is. That is why the, people, the, the men in the ISUP are coming out and warning the nation of Israel. Blacks, Native Indians, and Hispanics. Right? Read on. Verse 11. And they that have loathed my laws, mm -hmm. while they had yet liberty, and when, Salakia, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not right but despised it right so when a place of repentance was open unto them and they had the law what the scripture is saying they despise it so the christian leaders right now you understand what i'm saying right now the haggis all them imams and, and all them 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 israelites pretending they're egyptologists you understand and pretending they're christians right now that 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 opportunity and grace that open up now because now we can look and we can see a history. You can hear the priests and the prophets of the ISUBK show you your culture, right? What nation are people here from? What is the laws, commandments, and statutes that the most are required you to follow? Now you can see that and you can be thinking yourself and say, yeah, boy, I really, you know what I mean? I really was off. It's now for me to return, you understand, and understand that as a Jew. And act as a Jew. Not just on the outside, but inwardly. I start doing the things that the most I require for me to do. Right? Read on. Can I one can? Verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Say it again. Can I one can? The same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. You understand? So now, they have another time and I tell us, again, who are going to escape now? Nah. The most I say, you're going to know the same. When that destruction coming, you're going to know that after death, you're going to experience pain. And this ain't talking about where Christian leader them tell you you're going some way and meet um, um, a devil with a fork and so forth. Now, nah, this talking about right re reincarnation coming back. The same way um John spoke about Elijah, right, being back on the earth as John the Baptist. You're not going to escape the judgment of the Most High. Right. You're not going to run around, operate willy-nilly and live willy-nilly. You understand? As a so-called black man and tell yourself, nah, well, I go escape. That ain't going to happen. Because you're going to come back and you're going to feel that pain. You understand? You're going to put you in, in, in hell. And when we say in hell, you're going to put you here in a low condition. You understand? They might line up with World War III. 
to feel that turmoil nuclear fire with the scripture saying your eye and your tongue melt in your head before you before you hit the ground or you come back here paralyzed and somebody cleaning you up for the next 40 years you understand you never get a chance to, 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 to talk to go no way to do nothing because after that you understand is the punishment and the so-called black man don't understand that that is how serious this is so now they're like like how those asking christ why this man born blind is it he sin or his parents so we had to understand walking away from the most high have a long list of consequences and we thinking that we have choice that is not according to the scriptures the scriptures tell you to choose life keep my commandments and live and it's time for the so-called black man native indian man and hispanic man to understand that right um give me give, give me um just hold that a minute and just go to the verse before give me a second Ezra's um 7 and 56. right let me just touch on that before we move on the book of second Ezra's chapter 7 and verse 56 for while we live and committed iniquity right so this is important to note so why is the so-called black man why we live in right and we committing sin or breaking the laws or the rules that the most i set for we to, to live by read on we considered not that we should begin to suffer for it after death read it again we considered not we consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death we and consider that here what happened we're going to suffer for these things or the way we operating contrary to the mosai we ain't consider our weight now after i die you know i will pay for this we watch many men who is murderers and do many heinous things you understand even all the hidden and then we tell yourself they escape he lived through your whole life he lived rich to the jx dollar and the die he escaped now nah, the scriptures say or they go pay for it after that they're coming right back here you understand where the face of the earth is renewed as a baby and the most i know is going to give them the punishment right that is just say the lord and the so-called black man must come to a place to build that fear the most in him you understand because if you ain't build that fear the most high then do him bother to say love him because if you ain't fear him you ain't gonna love him you understand so-called black man i don't understand that right you can continue reading on and um it's like just nine baba kasha can we can can we can verse 13 and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished mm -hmm. and when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved right so this is what the so-called black man i don't understand inquire how the righteous shall be saved how the so-called black man native indian man and hispanic man is going to escape world war three you understand the destruction of world war three die not for you so-called black man you understand the hundred and forty four thousand men being sealed with this knowledge are going to initiate that war warfare you understand on this age and this society on america on the so-called oppressor you understand on the so-called white man for the evil he have done to the children of israel that concerns lynching and um, slavery you trying to escape slavery he trying to kill you for trying to escape slavery after he um, after he kidnap you the africans kidnap you the arabs kidnap you you understand build the ships and help for you to come across you on the western side of the world the chinese oppressing you you understand in the ghetto the east indians oppressing you the so-called white man perpetually oppressing you this destruction is for the heathen it's for the other races it's time for the so-called black man to understand that right um um, hold up on that for a minute. Give me the book of Revelation, chapter 21. Um, give me from verse 1. Okay. So much I'm about what, 10 minutes again? 8.9. Alright. Yeah, give me Revelation um, 21. Baba Kasha. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, and verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth right so this is a vision john, um, john was seeing right the same way that nebuchadnezzar gave a vision that daniel had to interpret now john was getting a revelation right to show unto the servants of the most high to show unto blacks native indians and hispanics right read on for the first heaven 
and the first earth will pass away. Right, so the first heaven and the first earth that pass away. Everything different, set up different now. So the first heaven and the first earth that pass away. People ain't eating poor crab of sand shrimp again. A man sleeping at man. You understand? That ain't happening again. Right? Read on. There and there was no more sea. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven. Right. And what John was seeing in this vision? He said he saw a holy city, which means a separate city. Right? New Jerusalem. That's for the so called black man. He saw that now coming down from the most high out of heaven. And all John saying is just what we're talking about here. Right? The so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man receiving instructions from the most high how to live that this kingdom and this or this heaven be set up on the earth. Instructions from the most high passing to commanding General Yahana to all the generals, all the captains, down to the officers, all the way down to the troopers. This is instructions coming from the most high. Right to set the so-called black man, native Indian man, and the Hispanic man in rulership, right in heaven. That is what heaven is all about: rulership. The white man is in heaven right now; he is ruling in an ungodly way. And it's time for the so-called black man, native Indian man, and Hispanic man to rule under righteousness, to rule under the spirit of the Most High Power, right? And that is what's taking place in the vision of Daniel. All these kingdoms coming down, but it had one kingdom. I mean, um, the stone that was cut on not with hands to come and rule, right? To come and destroy all these other kingdoms under the spirit of Christ by going out on the streets and prophesying, right? Thus say the Lord and waking up blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics. All right? Um, all, all upon that and, and give me the John chapter 17 and verse 9, Baba Pesha. Come on, come. The book of John chapter 17 and verse 9. Right. I pray for them. Mm -hmm. I pray not for the world. Right. So, the, so Christ was saying here, hey, Most High, the Most High Power, I praying for them. I praying for the disciples. Right. I praying not for the world. I praying for the men that are willing to serve you. You understand? That might shock a lot of people. But this was the prayer of the, the, the leader, the, the king of blacks, native Indian and Hispanics. He was praying for disciples. That you was praying for, not for the world, right? Um, give me verse 20. Come on, come. The book of John, chapter 17, and verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, right? So now he's saying, I'm praying for these disciples alone, but read on, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, right? But them also who are going to believe on me through your word. So he pray now, he's saying, this prayer is also for the disciples to come. So this prayer that Christ prayed was also for the men in the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. Right. You understand? Everybody loves to pray. But they know it will be a good thing to know that Christ praying for you. Right. That Christ said a prayer for you so-called black man. And to get that prayer, you must position yourself to be a disciple, right, of Christ. He say, I'm praying for these also, those that will believe, those blacks, native Indians, and Hispanics that is going to believe, thus say the Lord. Right. They're going to believe there's a real Jew. They're going to believe that are not supposed to eat pork, crab, lobster, and shrimp. They're going to believe that they have to celebrate the high holy days of the Most High Power, for example, Passover, which is the, the, the so called black man celebrating the destruction of our African nation, the Egyptians. You understand? That is what the um, Christ was praying for. These men, right? These women and children are going to believe. All right? Um, give me John chapter 15 and verse 15. And I think we will wrap up on that, right? Because we're trying to, um, just now before you read the last script here, remember to tune in um, to ISUPK Black Watch tonight with leader Israel commanding General Yahana. Right? We're going to put the link in the chat. Right? This is like the news for black people native indians and hispanics right that will take place tonight from nine o'clock from 9 p.m right so tune into black watch after this class tune into the black watch with commanding general yahana right give me the last script here john chapter 15 
and verse 15, Baba Kasha. The book of John, chapter 15, and verse 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants. Right, read. Um, just come and read it again. Karaman Khan, the book of John, chapter 15, and verse 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants. Right, so the most I say, henceforth, I call you not servants. Right, read on. For servants know it not. What his Lord doeth? Right, because servants do not know what the Lord doing. They don't know what 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 um the the, the the leader, right, the chief or the head doing. Right, read on. They don't know what Christ doing. But I call you friends. But the most I say, he call you friends. So everybody like to sing in the Christian church, eyes are friend of God, right? But this year is talking about the so-called black man, Native Indian man, and Hispanic man. He say, hear what? Ye are my friends, right? No, Salakia, verse 15. He said, Henceforth, I call you no longer servants. Because these are the men that decide to come into the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana and wear the all black. Make the 90 days. These troopers in the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. Right? That is when the so called black man begin to serve the most high power. That is when the so called black man, right, begin to serve Christ right. as a trooper. That is when he is a servant of the Most High Power. And now the Most High say now, I no longer calling you servants, right? Read from that part again. Karan Khan, I call you not servants, mm -hmm. for servants know it not what his Lord doeth. Right. But I call, but I have called you friends, mm -hmm. for all things that I have heard of my Father. I have made known unto you. And now the most I say, you're going to call you a friend. And if you want to be a friend of the most high power, you need to come into the ISUPK under commanding General Yahana. Serve the most high power. Sit down as a servant because you ain't gonna understand a lot of things are taking place. And build your way up now to an officer. And now the most I say in here, he's no longer calling you a servant. So like your Christ is saying he's no longer calling you a servant. But now he's calling you a friend. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Now you understand better the workings of the kingdom of heaven. You understand what the Musa requires of you to do as an individual and also what you require to do right for your nation. Which is to teach these scriptures here to blacks, native Indians and Hispanics. All right, and with that, I pass the class over to Priest and Officer Maikwa. This is the ISPK security announcement. We are the ISPK out of 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Dehan. New rules for brothers and sisters. When a new brother or a sister comes into the school, they are off limits for six months. They are to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. After six months, if a brother or a sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to the brother or a sister. There's another six months in which the brother or sister will court each other. After the six month period, the brother or sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithes, which is a commandment. You can find this in Numbers chapter 18 and verse 21 and Malachi chapter 3 verses 8 to 10. It means 10 in the Hebrew and it's pronounced Maishra. 10% of any increase the Lord gives you, you give to the treasury department or teacher. Please fund. Free will offering for priests not mandatory, whatsoever amount you would like to give. Upcoming Holy Convocation The upcoming Holy Convocation is the Feast of Dedication or Hakanaka, which is the 25th day of the ninth month on the Hebrew calendar by the space of 8 days, which is Wednesday the 9th of December 2020. You can find this in First Maccabees chapter 4 verses 52 to 61. Remind Archeum and Aquatium to check on social media, media such as ISPK.com, Facebook, 
Twitter, YouTube, and so on for RCPK events and materials. If your brother wants to be a trooper in the school, then he is to start wearing all black, which includes black boots, like shirt, like pants, like headbands or scarf, and with that we say I imagine. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew. Abanawa. Abanawa. Shabashamaya. Shabashamaya. Kwadash. Kwadash. Haya. Haya. Shabuka. Shabuka. Yahawa. Yahawa. Malakwaka. Malakwaka. Tabaa. Tabaa. Ratazaka. Ratazaka. Haya. Haya. Kaya. Kaya. Salakia. Haya. Haya. Aisha. Aisha. Baratiza. Baratiza. Kawa. Kawa. Haya. Haya. Bashamaya. Bashamaya. Natananawa. Natananawa. Lakam. Lakam. Kal. Kal. Yawam. Yawam. Wasalaknawa. Wasalaknawa. Kawawatnawa. Kawawatnawa. Kasalaknawa. Kasalaknawa. Kawawatnawa. Kawawatnawa. Walaa. Walaa. Kabayanawa. Kabayanawa. Wanasayawa. Sayawa. Abal. Abal. Kawashaina. Kawashaina. Mayan. Mayan. Rai. Rai. Kaya. Kaya. Laka. Laka. Hamalakwa. Hamalakwa. Wahaala. Wahaala. Wataparat. Taparat. Waaiwalomia. Aleomia. Aman. Aman. What we said in English was our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Yahweh. Yahweh. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth, in earth, as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day. Our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us. And forgive us. Our debts. Our debts. As we forgive our debtors. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not. And lead us not into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us. But deliver us from evil. From evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. Forever. So be it. So be it. Sir, men of Israel, let's give the teacher a one courtesy salute. Amazon Shabbat. Amazon. Barak. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Katha. Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Katha. Yad Yad Mata. Men of Israel, let's give the sisters online a one courtesy salute. Amazon Shabbat. Amazon. Barak. Yahweh Shema Latan Ba Hashem Yahweh Yad Yad Mata. Class dismissed.